Hi, my name is Gary Openlock, and I've been principal tubist of the Utah Symphony for 33 years. I really didn't originally go to the tuba. The tuba originally came to me. I was in the fifth grade, and we had just moved out to a suburb of Chicago, Addison, Illinois, and they were just starting a band, and I was a fifth grader. And uh, I really wanted to play the saxophone. I saw these wonderful shiny keys on the saxophone, and the band director played a little bit of each instrument. I said, that's the instrument for me. So it got uh, time to pay the piper, and we were standing in line, my father and myself, and, and uh, they said, well, my son wants to play the saxophone. I said, well, that's $2.25 a month uh, to rent the saxophone. And uh, my dad was pretty sad about it because that was a lot of money for us back in 1960. So he went to the band director and he said, um, you know, my son just loves music and he really wants to play in the band, and, but I can't afford $2.25 a month. And the band director said, um, you know what, um, we'll rent him the tuba for nothing because nobody wants to play the tuba. My father looks over at me with a cigar in his hand. He said, son, you're playing the tuba. And that's how it started. And then after that, it was in the fifth grade, months later, our fifth grade uh, class went down to uh, Orchestra Hall in Chicago to hear the famed Chicago Symphony, which at that time in history probably had arguably the greatest brass section of any brass section in the world. And I heard uh, Arnold Jacobs play the tuba, and I came home and I said, this is what I want to do. I want to play the tuba, and I want to play it just like him. It was interesting because in my fifth grade, there were eight of us to start on brass instruments. And uh, for the first week, the band director, uh, Stuart Lechte, gave us all mouthpieces. And he said, you know, I just want you to buzz the mouthpiece, and next week come in and we'll take it from there. So a week later, I came in, the trumpet players played. And I, I have to tell you, out of nine people in my fifth grade class, seven of us became professional musicians. So that shows how positive an influence this gentleman was. So the trumpets played, and the trombones played, and the French horn played, and it got to the two. We said, okay, Gary, I want to hear you buzz the mouthpiece. And he says, so I buzzed the mouthpiece, he says, that's really wonderful, but next week I want you to buzz the other end of the mouthpiece. Um, I buzzed the wrong end of the mouthpiece for an entire week, but after that I finally got it right. So we, the fifth grade uh, was, a, was a public school, and public school, and I went to the high school, which was a wonderful high school band program, uh, and then eventually ended up at New England Conservatory in Boston where I uh, got my bachelor's degree and my master's degree, and I started playing with the uh, Boston Pops uh, soon after that, 1973. So this is my 43rd year playing in Boston, my 33rd year playing in the Utah Symphony. I have three different, well, I have several different kinds of tubas. I'm, this is the C tuba. It's a, called a six quarter. Uh, they're gauged in size similar to violins. However, a six-quarter tuba is not one and a half times the size of a regular tuba, and a three-quarter is not three-quarters of the size. Three-quarters is a little bit smaller bore, and the six-quarters uh, for the large orchestral pieces, and that's what I play most of the time with the symphony. I also own uh, F tubas, which I use for the lighter repertoire, Berlioz, and pieces that were written earlier for an instrument that was much smaller than this. Um, one of the instruments that I have is really, is really quite interesting. Uh, back in 1923, uh, the Boston Symphony commissioned uh, uh, Maurice Ravel to write an orchestration of the Mussorgsky Pictures and Exhibition. When Ravel came over to the Boston Symphony, he brought this particular instrument with him that uh, this one movement entitled Biedlo was to be played upon. Biedlo is a Polish word that means cattle. Uh, the particular picture is a gentleman sitting on top of a great big oxen and he's singing. Uh, now this instrument that was brought over by Ravel for this one movement, I actually have that instrument. And uh, it's a, quite a magnificent horn. It's a single C Courtois French tuba. It's about that big. It's a little bit smaller than a baritone. A baritone is in B flat. This is in the key of C. Uh, my other tubas are in key of F. I have three or four of those. And I have uh, actually two of this exact instrument. I keep one at home and one at work, which has extended my career and my back by not having to haul it around. This horn was built in Germany. It's a Minel Weston, a Warren Deck model, uh, 2165, the six quarter tube as I mentioned. And the mouthpiece I play on is a Park Ofenlock mouthpiece, which I designed about 15 years ago. Uh, originally just for myself, but a lot of players uh, around the country and actually around the world are playing this, this mouthpiece right now. 
I like the role that the tuba has, as it is. That's probably why I enjoy playing it so much, is it's, uh, it's not a solo instrument, in my opinion. It's the kind of instrument that works well in a large ensemble, like a symphony orchestra. And I like being that one voice within the large brass section. What do I love about music? You know, it'd be easier to say what I don't love about music, which is basically nothing. Music is the, as they say, is the universal language, and I really think that's, that's true. If you get a group of people together from all races, religion, ethnicities, and, and they can't communicate to each other with words, but if they all hear the Ode to Joy from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, they would all have a smile on their face. So I think my love of music is just that fact that it's the universal language. One of the dilemmas about playing the tuba is that there's very few solos in the literature. But one of the solos that I do enjoy playing, and in fact we just performed a few weeks ago with the Utah Symphony, is a small little solo in American in Paris by George Gershwin. Mm -hmm. 